Hello, and sorry about that hitbox. Welcome to a relatively unconventional video for me. This is not commands. This is something you can do in survival. And it's a motion detector. <laughs> I was playing on uh, my server yesterday, or not yesterday, but recently, and someone, I had a dog sitting in a shop in our shopping area and they right clicked it because of a bug that let the dog stand up and it teleported to me and I was extremely far away and I, like tens of thousands of blocks I think and that gave me the idea. <laughs> a dog in a minecart that's standing up can't teleport to you. Activator rails kick dogs out of minecarts. So in theory, I honest to goodness don't know for sure if this will work but there's no reason it wouldn't. If you went ahead and had this dog go over this, it would kick him out. I'm not gonna do that because it took forever to get in. And then he would teleport to you wherever you are in the world. Thus, you would know someone is at that, at that location. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this. I'm gonna cut to me having this set up. All right, here we are with our example door. And uh, when I step on these pressure plates, it should let that dog move onto the activator rail and then kick him out. Look at that, he teleported to me. <laughs> this totally works. Okay, I am so sorry uh, about these doors. That fix it. Yeah, there we go. They're still horrible, but you get the idea. Um, when you step on this, it runs to wherever the track is. It powers the track and then that moves him onto the activator rail and then he teleports to you. Now, it's a little bit horrible, but technically you can take an anvil, you can take a name tag, you can name it whatever you want, alert at base one, you can name him, and then uh, one second, let me set this up. Oh my word, it actually worked. <laughs> This is horrible. Oh no. So after some experimenting, this this setup, this will work in, I believe, any dimension now. So before, I think dogs can only teleport to you if you're in the same dimension. This, sadly, is better, like mechanically, but I don't know if it's better morally. So if you... You know what, let me just show you uh, what I what I did. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so you go, you could do this in survival, like I said. If you name your dog, uh, just someone is at base one. So if you have a dog that's named, actually it doesn't have to be named. If your dog, your pet dies, um, it will tell you, it will only tell you. It'll say in chat that your wolf died and how it died. And if it's named, it'll say its name. So this one is someone is base one. I am so sorry, guys. This is horrible. It's it's very sadly actually useful as well. He might teleport to me. This will be an interesting test, but. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Let me try this again. All right, now with a wall built to block the minecart, and I forgot to tame the dog in that last clip, and I forgot to make him stand up, my word. This is a mess. All right, <laughs> now with him tamed in a minecart and named, uh, it should actually tell me in the chat as well. So it all worked out. All right, let's just... Uh, I want to see if he teleports to me, but first let's test it with me here. Why didn't that? <laughs> Let me put it here. It's so horrible! Oh, it worked. Why did it have to work? All right, there's. It'll only show you this in ch chat. It'll only show the player who owns the dog, so the person who broke in won't even know if you put the dog far enough away for them not to hear the barking or anything. This is terrible. I kinda hate myself for making this video, but here we are. All right, let's go ahead and do it one more time. All right, all right, all right. Last test. 
Does he teleport to me? Okay, he does teleport to me. So, so there are merits to either. If you name them uh, and you're in the same dimension, he'll teleport to you. And if he can't teleport to you, you'll get the death message. So uh, this setup will should alert you that someone's in your base, no matter what dimension you're in. And hey, bright side is uh, your dog is gonna be okay, at least if you're in the overworld. Um, <laughs> Uh, I am so sorry for making this video, guys, but I hope you were able to find it useful. And, um, hey, if you use the overworld-only version, it's perfectly humane. Uh, any, anyways, uh, you, could, you can condense this, of course. Uh, this is just an example. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one.